Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. So today's video is a what's for dinner video. So basically I take you through my week and I've actually already started filming this video. So I'm taking you through my week and every evening I film and show you guys what we eat for dinner. I show you um, kind of how I put it together, if it's a recipe or just how I take something out of the freezer and use it from like my freezer meals and that sort of thing. And so I just wanted to pop on and do a quick intro before we jump into the week. I hope this gives you a lot of meal inspiration. You can sit and write everything down. I will link the recipes below if you are interested in using some of the recipes that I use this week. If you're new here, I do aim for a lot healthier meals. Sometimes I do gluten free. Sometimes I do uh, keto friendly meals. Just in general, we really aim to eat healthier. So I think that's all I have for you and let's jump into our week. Happy Monday everybody. Everybody. Okay, so today we are making some stuffed chicken breast, some garlic green beans, and then I'm going to also throw the sweet potatoes in the air fryer just to do up some baked sweet potato. Corey and I will probably be the ones to eat these. But, um, so to make the stuffed chicken breast, I've done different versions of this, but this is how I'm gonna be doing it tonight. I have some cream cheese, so I'm gonna throw a block of cream cheese into a mixing bowl. I'm gonna add in some of this sugar-free barbecue sauce. This barbecue sauce is super good. They have another one, I think, that's a honey version, but this is the hickory version. So I'm gonna do some of that in with the cream cheese and probably a little bit of minced garlic. Mix that all up and then stuff the chicken breast. I have my oven preheating at 375, and once the chicken breast is stuffed, I'm gonna brush it over with some more of the barbecue sauce and then add some shredded cheddar across the top of them. To do the green beans, I just, we really like the extra fine string beans and I just put a little bit of olive oil in the pan. I put them into the frying pan, get them nice and tender, and then I'll add a few chunks of butter and a little bit of minced garlic, and you have some garlic green beans. I can't remember if I said this, but you need to cook the chicken at 375 for like 25 minutes or until the meat is fully cooked through. Also, I'll only be using half of this pack, so it's about three large chicken breasts. It is Taco Tuesday. If you guys watched my last What's For Dinner video, then you know that on Tuesdays we generally make tacos. So I have a pound of ground beef here that I already thawed out. I'm gonna put it in the frying pan. Um, I'll show you the spices that I add to it and I just shake them in as I go. The only exception is, is you wanna put more chili powder than like the other spices in. But other than that, I just shake it as I go and sometimes I add a little bit of water that helps to kind of like steam the spices into the meat and give it a bolder flavor. Then I have these two dishes and every single time I show these dishes, um, I get questions about them. There's actually a third one that's smaller and my mom gave them to me. I think they maybe were from Sam's Club at one point. I'm not sure. I haven't been able to find them online, but I get questions all the time of where they're from. So there's a little info for you, <laughs> but my mom did give, gift them to me, but they work great for tacos.
Along with the tacos, I'm going to cut up this watermelon. We need this for the week anyways, just to have some extra fruit, fruit in the refrigerator. I like to have it on hand to grab for the girls' lunches when we're making up lunch plates and that kind of thing. So I'm gonna cut this up and we'll eat some now and then we'll have some for storage. It's Wednesday morning and today is one of those days that I just need a really simple dinner. I've got a lot to do on my to-do list today. So last night I pulled out one of my freezer meals from my freezer and let it thaw out overnight. And so now it's ready to go into my crock pot. And this is my chicken fajitas that will be on the slow cook setting all day and then it will be ready whenever we are gonna have dinner tonight, which honestly is a lifesaver whenever I have crazy days like today. Okay, these have been on low all day. Oop, gotta get it unlocked. And the chicken should just shred apart perfectly, even though it was already cut up in the bag in the freezer. But now it's like in pieces and you've got all of the peppers and onions, everything perfectly there to be put into your fajita and to make delicious fajitas and it's all ready for you. making some pork chops in the pressure cooker and we're also gonna be making some peas and then I'm going to make my mashed cauliflower you guys have seen me do this a lot of times but I'm gonna do it in a pot and not my pressure cooker just to show you how to make it even if you don't have a pressure cooker you're gonna see the extra step that it takes to do it whenever it's not in the pressure cooker and why I often do it in here but let's get started on the pork chops so I'm just gonna put this on saute mode throw some olive oil in the bottom and kind of give the um, outside of them kind of some brown some texture before we put them all back in to actually cook them While the pressure cooker is getting hot over there, I am going to show you how to get the cauliflower started. So I have a whole head of cauliflower in here. I've already washed it off. And I'm just gonna take a knife in here and chop it up in pretty small pieces. Cauliflower goes a little crazy like broccoli does when you get a knife to it. So if you do this on a cutting board and then put it in the pot, you're just gonna have a big mess. This kind of contains the mess by chopping it up inside here. And then I'm gonna add water to it and get it boiling. Thank you. 
Okay, so we're getting these all seared, which just means you get some of the brown on it. Um, I've got uh, about two more in there yet. And then the trick to doing this whenever you're doing it in the stovetop pot is you don't want to overcook them. So you don't want them to be too tender. You just want to be able to get your fork through them and then you pull it off as quickly as you can. Then you take it to your colander. So whether you have a bowl colander, I have one that's over the sink. I'm gonna take it over there and dump it in and then I'm going to actually smash a cup on it and squeeze as much water as possible out of it and then put it back in this pan. I know it sounds a little crazy, but this is the extra step that it just gets a lot more water absorbed in it whenever you do it in the stove versus in the Instapot or your pressure cooker. Then um, this way it gets a lot more water in it and so you have to actually get the water out of it by doing it this way. Now that that's done, we can put some butter and some um, sour cream in here, salt, pepper, and we'll take the immersion blender and put it in here. You can do this in your blender too, um, but I just love having my immersion blender to be able to go through it and just make up the mashed cauliflower. The whole reason for getting rid of so much water is just because if you don't have, if you don't get rid of the water, it will literally be super, super runny and you want it to be as creamy and as thick as mashed potatoes. Now that they've all been seared, I'm going to put them all back in and put about a half cup of water in the bottom with them and then drizzle a little bit of barbecue sauce on them. Put the lid on and let the uh, vent seal and then after that you want to put them on for about 20 minutes manual on high. Okay, we've made it to Friday, you guys. We've officially made it to Friday. And if my hair and the dirty dishes behind me does not explain how I feel about it being Friday night. <laughs> oh my goodness. This week has been crazy. And this is one of those nights where I wanna go to meal prep Adeline and give her a really big hug and just say thank you so much for having so much energy to put things in the freezer. <laughs> so my camera keeps going out of focus. I'm sorry, it happens sometimes. But it's one of those nights where I just creep over to the freezer and I go digging and look for what I can find that's already mostly made for me that I can make a meal out of. <laughs> so. That is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you what I'm pulling out of the freezer tonight. And if you guys are on the fence about doing freezer meal prep, this is why I love doing it because the end of the week comes around and I don't feel like cooking, I'm exhausted, I just am on my last, I'm so ready for the weekend, so ready for just like downtime with family after working all week and just the craziness of life. So. Let's pull some stuff out and I'll show you how I make a super fast dinner. Okay, this might not look like much, but it is a beautiful sight to me. <laughs> so these here are some buffalo blue cheese burgers that I had in the freezer. I'm going to throw them in the frying pan and make Corey and I up some burgers. And then I've got some sweet potato fries that I'm gonna put in the air fryer that him and I will probably have with our burgers. And then these are homemade chicken nuggets. They're supposed to be basically like a Chick-fil-A nugget. You guys have seen me make them like so many times, but these are 
one of the great times to have them for. And then we've had um, a huge watermelon I cut up earlier this week and we've been working at it throughout the week. So the girls will have some of that and then some peas that were left over from last night's dinner um, along with their nuggets. So these two things I'll put in the air fryer. This I'll throw in the microwave. These I will throw in the frying pan and then these I will throw on some plates. weeknight meal ideas. I generally do about five nights out of the week and then on the weekends we order food in or we just kind of do a lot of random things. And so whenever I film these what's for dinner videos, I often just do five nights. I hope this inspired you. If you guys are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in my next video.